Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. Today's game of the chopping block is a game called Scream or Die. Scream or Die is by Amber Palace Games. It is for two to four players. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes to play and it is for ages six and up. The game is fairly simple. It involves a big bag of dice here and all the dice have different colors based on the type of character you choose and every character has their own die. Now you're going to be trying to roll for your character specific icon. So if you're the vampire, you want to roll the vampire like this, or if you're the mummy, you want to roll the mummy. Now you can also roll scream symbols, which will give you little scream tokens. And the idea is you're trying to move along this track of victory points. If you can get to the end first, you win the game. All right, well, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here are the setup for Scream or Die. You got four different character boards along with your Scream tokens and the little meeples that are associated to each character. Harry is going to be orange, Griff is blue, Seth is yellow, and the black one is for Vlad the Vampire. You're also going to get a bag and dice, and all of these dice are different colors based on whose dice they're specifically for. So the black is for the... Uh, vampire and then yellows for the mummies or skeleton and the blues for the mummy this one here is the werewolf for orange and then this is the scream die and they're basically just gonna be screams no matter which ones you pick just based on the die you're gonna get different screams and this is basically you get included every single die is three of each color and you're going to start the game with everybody's icons here in number one and the first player will get three screams and everybody else will get four screams all right, after you set up the game for the four players, you will go ahead and begin by pulling dice out of this dice bag. You're going to always pull out five dice, and then you're going to ask people if they would like you to roll additional dice. Now, you're going to just make them spend screams to do that. So if somebody wanted you to roll six dice instead of five, they would give you a, so you'd put a scream down into the pile, and you'd roll an extra die. After that, you will roll the dice, and whatever symbols are there are what is going to happen, unless somebody else pays a scream to have you reroll specific dice. Now, you can do that for yourself, as well as on other players' turns, or other players can do it on you. Afterwards, after you've uh, picked the dice, whatever ones you have to reroll based on the screams used, you will then tally up whatever is on the dice's facing to determine what scoring takes place. And that means other players are going to be able to score on your turn, as well as yourself. Now, any screams you roll are going to be given to you specifically, so if you roll five screams, you're getting all those little scream tokens, but otherwise, players are going to be getting points. All right, let me go ahead and show you at least a couple turns how the game works. Okay, so Vlad is going to be going first. Like I said before, he gets his three screams to start with, and he's just going to go into this bag right here and pull out five dice. Fairly easy. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now, anybody could spend screams if they'd like to have him increase the amount of die he has. And each die, obviously, will represent a different person. So right now, we have the blue character, which is Griff, and he's very happy with how this turned out. So he's probably not going to have uh, additional rolls or additional dice come out. However, Seth is not as happy. He only has one die here. And Vlad is definitely not happy because there's no black. So maybe Vlad will spend an extra scream here, and we'll pull out another die from the bag randomly. Ha! Huh, perfect! Vlad is very happy. After that, we have all decided, okay, nobody else wants to spend screams, so we'll take all the dice we have, and we're going to roll them just like this. Perfect. And now we've got our results. So we've got one vampire, we've got the mummy that's for times two, so it's four here. We've got the skeleton for one, a scream, and oh, another skeleton for two. So if this were the case, it would be three points for this person, four for this person, and one for the vampire. However, maybe we have somebody who's not so happy about that, um, or specifically don't want Griff to get the point. So we'll have Harry. Harry is going to spend two and make me re-roll, as the vampire, two of the dice. And we'll have him re-roll these two right here specifically. And so he'll take the dice, and he'll once again re-roll them. Oop, there we go. And that's it. Everybody's ch chosen to either have him re-roll dice or not. Then we're going to add the scores. So one point here, moving stuff along the track. And two points, making Seth move again. The scream, which is just a scream, goes to Vlad as the active player. The one vampire gives uh, Vlad one extra point, going from one to two. And then here we go with Griff. Three points, moving him to three. Well, moving him up three, I should say. Everybody starts at one. All right, the dice go back into the bag. And now it is Seth's turn. So Seth's going to roll him up and pull out of the bag. One, two, three, four, and one more. Five. All right. Anybody want to increase the amount of die? Sure. Harry will. So he removes another scream and pulls another die out. Oh, uh, that one doesn't help Harry. That only helps Seth because Seth is going to get the screams for this no matter what they are. Take the dice. Roll them again. 
Beautiful. Okay, does anybody want to change the make this movie roll? Sure. So we'll have Griff. Griff's going to spend his scream and make you re-roll this die. Okay, now that that's done, nobody else wanted to do it. We pull all them out, and let's tally up the totals. So the first thing to do is the screams, and there's three screams. That means that three tokens go to Seth. These are done. And then every one of these players gets one point. The vampire goes up, the werewolf goes up, and the mummy goes up points. And then followed by the next player's turn, the next player's turn. And you would continue like that. So like I said, the game will just continue going on until somebody hits that 13 pieces of candy, or 13 points. And then once that happens, they're declared the winner. Now I must mention as well that if you start your turn and you have no screams, you get to have a scream for free. And if you tie with 13 points, because you can have a tie happen where two players need one point and they both get that point, the person with the most screams will be the winner. And that is how you play it. Let's go ahead and talk about what I think of it. So Scream or Die is a strategic dice rolling game that has a little bit of a push your luck mechanism in it. Basically, you're going to be drawing these dice and you don't know what you're going to be getting. So even on your turn might not be the best time to actually score points for yourself. It's going to depend on what color die come out of this bag. When you're the black player and you pull out a bunch of die and there's no black in there, well, you know that there's going to be a lot of black in the bag. So it might be to your best benefit to pull out, the, you use these screams to have your opponent or yourself pull out the black from this bag here. Also, when you see that a roll is very unfavorable to yourself, or specifically very favorable to an opponent, you're going to want to spend screams to have those dice re-rolled. And of course, you can only have one dice re-rolled once. After that, that's what happens. So all of the dice could be re-rolled once, provided everybody had enough screams to do so and wanted to. That being said, the game is very simple. And when I mean simple, I mean it's a good and a bad way. It's, it's a game that's specifically made for kids, I think. Uh, you could play it with pretty much anybody, and anybody can enjoy the game as long as you like rolling dice and having re dice re-rolled and picking new dice from a bag, and it works very well. The game makes a lot of sense, it doesn't take a lot of time to teach, and it can play, be played pretty much anywhere. The art is, it's okay, it's its very kid-like, and there's little art in the game. You just you have your little player mats as well as the dice provided with the little stickers on them. Um, I don't know if this is the full version of the game, but it's, that is a prototype that we received, and it all works very well, very nice. Um, I do like the strategy involved in the game, and there is a bit of strategy. Definitely, the older you are, the more you're going to understand what's best for you in what situation, but ultimately, it's going to come down to luck. Even if you have them re-roll the dice, they still could get that two candies that they had previously. Uh, that is kind of similar to most games like this as far as the Yahtzee slash rolling dice mechanism to gain points. Still very fun and enjoyable, and I think definitely if you have a lot of younger people in your playgroup, or you're maybe a father or mother who want to teach your kid games, this is going to be definitely the game for them. It's very, very easy to learn, and very, very fun too, and kids are going to enjoy getting to roll those dice and seeing their, their little characters pop up. And they're going to grasp the concept of they need their stuff to pop up more than the other players. And watching them grasp the candy and try and get the candy as much as they can, it gives that very thematic... Uh, trick-or-treat style thing with the whole scream or die thing anyway a very fun game and enjoyable I definitely suggest you check it out all right guys thanks for watching another unfiltered gamer Kickstarter board game review if you like this video and you like want to see more go ahead and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube like subscribe and comment as well as checking out Amber Palace games scream or die a fun little game for kids that is all about dice chucking don't forget to check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com as well. We got tons of blog posts, Kickstarters, and Kickstarter giveaways, and all that other good stuff. You can actually find uh, the huge Kickstarter list on our site where you can see all the newest and latest and greatest games all on one big list, so you don't have to go searching. It's all right there for you. We put it in there chronologically, so it's easy for you to find what you need. Also, go and check out our affiliate websites, everythingboardgames.com, The Giveaway Geek, and Devitos Gaming. All right, guys, thanks for watching this little unfiltered video, and we hope to see you in our next one. See you next time.